dad cut all of this down and he's done tethered it twice I believe and hopefully it'll be ready to bail here soon as you can see it's dark I got off work two seconds before dark just long enough to drive through this field but it's October the 19th like 6.45 in the evening and it's almost dark oh, the hay tether is still here I could get off work to come actually hook that to a tractor and do something. That's life. Well, I was coming up the driveway and I seen this light out here in the middle of the field. I'm like, what is that light? A neighbor put up solar lights to shine on his silage bag. The other one, the other one will turn on too if I go up there. But he put solar lights to shine on his silage bag to keep the critters away from it. I don't know if anybody else ever come up with that idea. But he's got he got some of these solar lights from somewhere. They got an eye in them. And can't really see it in the dark, but pretty bright. So as I drove up here, they started flashing on. One of them was already on. One, I think one of them staying on. And the other, this one here, flashed on. And then there's another one up there flashed on. <laughs> I guess that's one way to keep the critters away from your bag, hopefully. Because them old foxes, man, them foxes will get up here and they will tear the daylights out of these things. We never really liked the expense of the idea of putting it in a silage bag. And, well, it wasn't five minutes. We put them bags out there in the field and the foxes just tore them to shreds. So, coyotes, foxes, raccoons, possums, they will just make a mess out of a silage bag. So, I guess he come up with an idea. I had to ask him about it. But I said, huh, somebody left the lights on combine oh there you go he kicked back on it's like somebody left the light on out here in the field i'll turn around here this is one of the new tractors this is the other neighbor by the way with the combine i guess they finished the corn off on this farm here today probably 8630 that's one of the new ones they just hauled in that's one of like eight articulated tractors they own now I always like this style the 40s the 40 series the 30 series I always like that 75 20s look good but I like the 30 and 40 series as well didn't care much for the 50 series of John Deere uh, articulated I like the 60s and 70s series John Deere articulated tractors. The rest of them are... The 100 series was a nice looking tractor. But I lost interest after the 100 series. Here's a... Ooh! There's a custom... Custom uh, head, head cart here real custom head cart right here 
I don't know, that thing's about what? 14 inches at least across bolted to the wagon to sit the head on real nifty <laughs> piece of channel iron on the other side welded in can't see that it's a little dark out here I understand nice long tongue I'd give you some shots of this thing in the daytime, but I'm never here, so kind of have to go with what you got, you know? Dad been hauling some hay today. He went up the road and got the hay up the road and brought it down. Well, I come back here and the cows have completely made a total mess of everything in the grain right here in the, in the quantity. I don't have time to mess with this. I chased them back in the right direction. But, brand new radiator, upside down with cow shit on it. Everything else upside down, tore up. Just making a mess of everything in here. What they don't tear up, they shit on. I mean, they, they just, uh, there's stuff all over the floor over there. It's not even funny. Until another day. Howdy, y'all. Jay here. October 17th, I think. I don't know. It's like 7 o'clock at night. I just got off work, come back here, put some bolts in this hay rake. I didn't get the right bolts, but these will work. Put some bolts in this hay rake. And uh, maybe we'll get a chance to use it. Hopefully we don't knock it down on ourselves. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be any good. But Benzie's holes are a little wobbled out here. I figured I'll just put regular bolts in there because it won't make no difference putting carriage bolts back in there. Not with a wobbled out hole. So we'll put a regular bolt in there. Put this hitch back on. Dad got some hay bailed today. Baylor broke on him yesterday. He probably got video of that for y'all. He got some hay. He got about half a hay bale today. Or a little bit less than half. But we'll see. Hopefully he gets the rest of it tomorrow. I don't know. If not, I'll help him this weekend. Anyone I try to get off work, come help him, but they ain't gonna let me off. They said they got too much stuff to do. They we too busy. Well, I can't help the fact that nobody else shows up for work lately, but you know. Anyways. Well, we got some new shiny bolts in there. It's a little dark, you can't see that side, but they're in there. They're tight. Hopefully they don't come loose. Need to check those two right there. I think those are a little loose. 
put his on there, put his jack back through the hole. Well, I was on my way home and dad called me and said I had some packages on the front porch. So, we came back. Well, there they are. I'm not going to tell you what they are. You'll just have to wait to see. Them packages showed up from Pennsylvania in like one day. That's pretty fast. And I mean, that's fast. I ain't never had no packages show up that fast. Like, I ordered it at the end of the day on, was it Monday? Tuesday? End of the day on Tuesday. The credit card got charged yesterday by end of the day, and they're already here. So, that's fast. But anyways. Well, y'all, like and subscribe. Like that channel. Subscribe to the channel. Like them videos. We'll catch you later.